Welcome back to Montana. Uh, today I'm going to reset the tire pressure monitors on my wife's 2009 Tahoe. Currently it's the end of August and I haven't reset the tire pressure monitors since I put the warm weather tires on the truck, uh, which was probably April sometime. Uh, and I'll probably put winter tires back on three more months. Normally you can do this without a tool. Uh, you just deflate the tires uh, to trigger the sensor or over inflate them and deflate them. Uh, but it's a real pain to kind of go around and do that. Um, even though I have an air compressor, uh, it's just something that uh, I didn't want to take the 20 minutes to do. If you have an air compressor, it makes it a lot easier uh, than going to a gas station and doing it. Uh, but this time I decided to do is pick up this tool on Amazon. Definitely has that made in China feel to it. Feels kind of nice with this rubber sort of case on it. Uh, so we're going to give that a shot. So the first thing to do is to get the truck into the relearn mode. For instruction on your vehicle, check your manual. Uh, although sometimes Chevy likes to hide these things. Uh, so try just doing a search on the internet for it and you'll find the procedure. So for this truck, the first thing to do is put the key in the ignition, foot on the brake, and then turn the car to on. That's probably accessory. Turn the car to on, but not accessory. And then what you do is press and hold the lock and unlock on the fob until the horn sounds. All right, so we're in relearn mode. Now that we're in relearn mode, the procedure will be the same with the tool, without the tool. You start at the front left higher, wait until the horn beeps, go to the front right, the back right, and then the back left. Just go around the vehicle. The corner lights will light up on the vehicle. As you can see, the front left corner light is lit up. Got the valve stem here. That means the tire pressure sensor will be right here behind the wheel. So we're gonna push this here. There we go. That side's learned. You see the front right quarter lamp is lit up. So find the valve stem and press the button. That was easy. Now the right rear light is lit up. And you want to be on the rubber of the tire. You don't want the wheel to interfere with the signal. There we go. Now the final wheel. I gotta clean up these center caps here. All right, so it's not finding that one. So it looks like my left rear sensor is bad which is not the end of the world because I'll be getting probably new tires in the spring for this truck. The horn just sounded saying that the relearn is complete. Uh, we'll see if it picked up this wheel or not. Okay, so now it's giving me a license to check left rear tire pressure. So my left rear sensor is bad. Um, I had, uh, which is fine. If you just put new sensors in, you're not gonna have that problem. Um, I just picked up these sensors for the Silverado. So to cheat the system, I just synced one of these up. It's telling me to check the left rear tire pressure because obviously there's no tire pressure uh, on the sensor. So the front tires are found and the rear tires are found. Uh, again, you're not gonna have that problem if you, all your sensors are fine. My sensor uh, obviously is busted. But overall, that was a lot easier than going around and trying to drain the PSI, uh, trying to do it in a certain amount of time before the system times out. Uh, so the tool is well worth it. Uh, shameless plug, I've got an Amazon affiliate link for this uh, in the description. If this video helped you out, please give a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, hopefully you'll be back on the road in no time. Uh, until next time, may God bless you and keep standing up for what's right. So if you ever want to see what one of these sensors looks like, it's really not that complicated. You've got your valve stem here and then a sensor uh, transponder here. So basically this goes through the wheel, this sits up in the tire and uh, it transmits a little signal. Definitely don't overpay for these. Uh, make sure you're getting a good brand, you know, you're probably gonna spend around $100 for a set of four, uh, give or take.